Well, Creekside is the 10th team in our Super 10. They have the same record as their opponents tonight, Atlantic Coast. Now, both teams are 3-3, three and three, but currently the Knights are riding a three-game win streak while the Stingrays are coming off a 16-9 loss to Ed White. Tonight is a big game for both teams. Not only will they have a winning record heading into a short week of prep for their next opponent, but it's also a district game. Well, the highlights start right from kickoff. Jackson Earl is going to catch it. Take off down the sideline. He returns it to the 48-yard line where the Knights will start with the ball. Great field position from the start. Creekside exclusively used their ground game in the opening drive. Here, Harrison Garrido picks up the first down. Atlantic Coast helps them with the penalty as the Knights inch closer to the end zone. But it won't be easy. Atlantic Coast defense showing some toughness. The Stingrays blitz. Isaiah Jackson, Darnell Malpress, sack Sean Ashenfelder for a loss of 10 yards. Garrido putting in some work. He almost loses the ball but controls it. Runs into the end zone for the game opening drive and early 7-0 lead for Creekside. Later in the first quarter, Jackson Earl, a special teams nightmare. Saw him return it to begin the game here. He blocks the punt, sets up his offense in the 27-yard line. Next play, Ashenfelder throws his first pass of the game, which is a touchdown to none other than Harrison Garrido, who, by the way, had the diving catch into the end zone. The Stingrays fight back for a close game. Creekside is going to survive 43-37.